Welcome back guys to yet another World of Warcraft video on this channel. Today we are going over something that we have talked about before, but I want to remind you guys how important it is. And especially because we're seeing 9.2 coming out right around the corner. If you guys haven't seen it, it's coming out on the 22nd slash 23rd, obviously, NA and EU of this month, February. Um, so that's very exciting. I'm very excited for it. And one of the most important tools that you guys can use for said patch is the undermine journal okay and the reason that i want to go over this again is because there's a lot of people that are uh, cons uh, consistently asking if certain markets are good like how do you figure out what's a good market and what isn't and like what items are good and bad and the undermine journal is a very very good tool for this specifically now so, something uh that a lot of people were asking about is um obviously how to use it and 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 how to go about the different data so we're gonna go over a specific material that a lot of people know about and a lot of people have been using recently and this is a gold fight crystal so what you have here this is a snapshot of your own current realm you obviously pick your region and your server and then you can see your own realms activity of how the quantities move right so this is the snapshot for that and then you have a daily summary for the server as well so you can see how the market price is the regional price is and you can see what the quantity is also very important next in line this is very important because this is important if you're working on high con uh high what are they called high velocity markets which are very fast moving markets uh especially if you're doing any crafting this would be for legendaries you want to be able to look at these heat maps so if we're looking at the pricing heat map right here it gives us a sunday to saturday look and you can see uh the ones that have the least amount of color are where the prices are the lowest and the ones that have the most amount of color are where the prices are the highest. So you can see right here that mostly throughout the day, Tuesday and Wednesday are where the core fight crystals are going to be the priciest. And on all the other days, they're hanging out at a lower price. So you would never ever invest in core fight crystals or buy them if you want to use them for crafting. You would never buy them on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. You would buy them probably on a Saturday or a Sunday, right? Or any of the other days that are not those two where they're super pricey. And right under it, you can see the quantity heat map, which is also important for particular markets. Because you can also see here, this is very correlating to the Tuesday Wednesday. So you can see there's a low amount of qualified crystals. Uh, there's low amounts of qualified crystals on Tuesdays and Wednesdays because people are buying them up, right? To restock. And you want to try to avoid that as much as possible. So this is definitely a very good piece of information. And the reason that I'm telling you guys how all this works is because for 9.2, we're getting the new Kofi Crystal 2.0. It's called Progenita Essentia. Besides that, we're getting all the new materials. So this is something you also want to use the Undermine Journal for, especially early on, right? Because you'll be able to tell how the materials are moving and you don't have to run that by yourself. There's also the regional daily summary. This is pretty important too if you're trying to figure out if a certain item, like how a certain item is doing on uh, all realms because you might be playing on a low pub, medium pub. And some of those servers, it's pretty hard to tell what a certain item would be worth and also what you can expect. So this is definitely a piece of information that you can use as well. Same uh, as uh, TSM has as well. So this is obviously uh, not going to work for all markets, but it will work for quite a lot. And uh, everything else here is not that useful, but this is, I mean, this is basically the gist of what the Undermine Journal can offer you. And I really want you guys to, to uh, un understand that because this is something that I'll be using and many other gold makers like me will be using this a lot when 9.2 comes out, right? And yeah, that's basically going to be all that I have for this video. I wanted to let you guys know that this is going to be an important tool, especially for a new when a new patch launches, but also to see historical data on old uh, markets or things that you haven't been that into before. Uh, but that's going to be it. That's going to ba basically be all that I have for this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And until the next one, see you guys.